One of the companies in AI I highly respect is Cohere. Not only Cohere has released groundbreaking models, it has also contributed a lot in open source. They have these models like Command R Plus, and they have also released a lot of great re-ranking and embedding models to the date. When it comes to Command R Plus, they have really thrown it out of the park. And by the way, I have covered almost all of their models on the channel. And in my previous videos, I have already shown you how you can do tool usage, RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation, and lot of other things with Command R Plus. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fine tune Command R Plus on your own custom dataset locally. By locally, I mean that we will be accessing Command R Plus through API from Cohere's website, but locally means that we will be running the code locally. So up to you whether you consider it local or not, I consider it local. You can even install it locally, the whole model, if you have the bandwidth, but it is a big model, 104 billion parameter model, quite huge, requires multi-GPU cluster, and it will be a real feat to run it locally. Now, before I show you how you can fine tune your own model by using this, let me give you a bit of an overview of this awesome model. So Command R Plus is an open weights research release of a 104 billion parameter model with highly advanced capabilities, which includes retrieval augmented generation rack and tool used to automate sophisticated tasks. The tool used in this model generation enables multi-step tool use, which allows the model to combine multiple tools over multiple steps to accomplish difficult tasks. Command R Plus is a multilingual model evaluated in 10 languages for performance, which include English, French, Spanish, Italian, German, Brazilian, Portuguese, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, and simplified Chinese. Command R Plus is optimized for a variety of use cases, including reasoning, summarization, and question answering. So Cohere for AI has released it, and they also have a big presence on Hugging Face. If you are looking to run it locally, you can download it from Hugging Face. And by the way, the context length of this model is around 128K. License for this model is CC by NC. So if you're fine tuning it, training it, you need to adhere to not only this license, which is quite liberal, but also you need to adhere to C4 AI's acceptable use policy. Okay, enough theory. Now let me take you to my local system. And yes, before that, um, if you haven't already, go to Cohere's website, click on try now, sign up with your email address, log in there, and then go to API keys on the left hand side, just click there and grab your new trial key on the right hand side. If you are looking to deploy it in production, then you would need to pay and you can get your production key. But for the trial one, it is free. There might be some uh, throttling and limitations there, but for learning purposes, I think that is more than enough. So I'll assume you have grabbed your API key. Once you have it, let's go to your local system. So you can see that I'm already lo logged into my local system. First step, just install Cohere pip install Cohere and that is going to install it locally on your system. I'm using Windows. You can go with Linux or whatever. And then make sure that in your environment variable, you have set this Cohere underscore API underscore key. On Windows, you can use setx or in Linux, you can use export command. Now, before I walk you through this code, let me show you my custom data set. So I have created this simple custom data set where I'm doing a classify task. So I have defined two columns in this CSV file. It's a plain CSV file, by the way. It has two columns, text and label. Text is a free flowing text about movies. And then label is the sentiment of that uh, comment about that movie or review of that movie. So for example, the second row says the acting was superb and the plot was engaging. It is a positive sentiment. For example, if you look at the second one, it says a disappointing experience with too much repetition. So that is a negative sentiment. So I've just created 32 records of this data set and make sure that when you are creating a data set, it at least should have 32 records. 
and if you are doing this sentiment analysis in data set then make sure that each sentiment should at least have 10 records otherwise uh, Cohere won't accept it so at least 32 total records and at least 10 records for each sentiment and in this data set I have distributed them equally so 16 for positive 16 for negative just to balance it out and I have kept it short to save time and I'm not sure if my API um, would be good enough to get uh, get on with the large data set okay so all the prerequisites are done we have installed Cohere locally we have set our API key and we have also uh, saved our data set and the file name is train.csv and it is in the same directory where I am running this python code now first import os and cohere and fine tuning then grab your api key from your environment variable and then instantiate cohere's client as the first step what i am doing i am just simply creating this data set with data set dot create command just give it any name of your choice i am giving it my custom data set file and then i am telling it that i am doing the classification task this will create the data set and I will print it out and then comes fine tuning job in fine tuning job all we are doing it we are giving it a name we are setting the base model which uh, which is command r plus and I have checked it on their discord and this is our data set id once that's done we can print our fine tuned model that simple it is to fine tune a model uh, command r plus with your own data set and of course because we are doing it api based the fine tuned model will be hosted on their website so and but to be honest i haven't run it yet so i'm not sure whether it's a paid option or not but these are all the commands and i will drop these commands in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so don't worry about copy pasting or typing these commands so first up let me actually uh, quickly comment this and i will just print out the data set for the sake of it. So let me make it up a bit. Let me run this. Let's wait for it. It is going to create the data set and it is going to print it. Let me make it a bit more bigger. It is working on the data set. And there you go. So this is our data set which has been instantiated and created as per compatible to a cohere because that data set was just csv file in order to make it compatible with cohere's model you would need to use their data set command which we have done and it has created the data set okay so that is done let me put that fine tuning job back and let me run it so i'm just going to play it and then i'm just going to run it again so let's wait for it to finish and then i'll show you it is going to take a bit of a time of course so eventually fine tuned fine tuning has returned me this result so my fine tuned model id is this and it will take some time because the status is skewed and on the basis of my previous experience it can take even you know uh, one hour or two in order to get this finished even on the small data set because we are on the free tier but once that's done you can use it uh, just for, you would use any command r model and you can do rag with it you can do inference and if you want to know how to do that i will put, drop the link to my other videos where you can just simply call that and use it in your um, queries or in your environment so this is how simple it is in order to fine tune a model uh, on your own data set and that is command r plus and all you need is an api key and bit of a python code so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or thoughts let me know happy to answer them and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching